はい、いただきまーす。Today I'm in Okachimachi Station in Yamanote Line. Okachimachi Station is right next to Akihabara Station. It's a bit small station compared to Akihabara Station. But there are many stores and restaurants around Okachimachi Station. Also, this station is known as the entrance of Ameya Yokocho. Today, I will walk around Tokyo Local Station and try to find and introduce street food in this video. There are many stores and restaurants in Ameya Yokocho, which is Ameyoko Street. I'm so excited to explore the town. Let's keep walking. In front of the exit of Okachimachi Station, there is Panda Yaki Store, which is sponge cake. Usually we call it Ebi Kastera in Japanese, but since Uenozu, which is popular for giant panda, is near here, they made the sponge cake shape like giant panda. So that's why it's called Panda Yaki. It smells incredibly good, but I believe we can find better food in Ameyoko, so let's keep walking. It's rainy season in Japan now. There are so many rainy days recently. Hope you won't rain today though. Hey guys, welcome to Rain TV. I'm Ryan Seno. So I'm at Ameyoko Street now. Hope we can find a good food. So let's keep walking. The state of emergency is lifted in Japan, but still there are many restrictions for restaurants, especially for alcohol rules. In early of this year, there were almost no people in the street. But now people came back. Still, really few people compared to two years ago, though. This is popular seafood bowl restaurant in Ameyoko Street. By the way, seafood bowl in Japanese is Kaisen Don. There is takoyaki store right next to this place, and I haven't tried it yet. Okay, so let's get it for the first food. Takoyaki, six one piece. Can I get one? Ah, yes. Thank you very much. There are takoyaki sauce, bonito flakes, and seaweed powder on the table next to the store. I recommend to use all ingredients for takoyaki if it's your first time to eat it. I like bonito flakes, so I place it a lot. By the way, you can place it as much as you want. After I place the seaweed powder, it's perfect. Let's get chopsticks and eat it on the table. Whew. All right, so first food I got is takoyaki. Well, actually, I was born and raised in Osaka, so takoyaki is my soul food. I didn't expect that I will eat takoyaki at Ameyoko here, but why not? Let's try it. Itadakimasu. Here we go. Looks pretty nice. Well, thinking about the price standard in Tokyo, six takoyaki is for 300 Japanese yen. Takoyaki could be really smaller. However, I think it's pretty big enough. But how about the taste? Itadakimasu. Hmm. Oshii. Well, actually, it's pretty good. Outside is crispy. Inside is really soft. <laughs> I didn't expect this much quality for this price. Good surprise. Perfect. And sometimes cheap takoyaki, really small octopus. But this place, octopus, is regular size. <laughs> Good thing, right? You know, I like the atmosphere. Speaking of takoyaki, you'd better eat outside, not in the restaurant. You can enjoy the atmosphere too. Mm. All right, so that was good. Actually, I was thinking of much smaller takoyaki than this, so <laughs> it kind of makes me full. However, still I can eat. So let's keep walking. Let's go. After finish takoyaki, there's trash can in the store, so you have to trash it by yourself. This Ameya Yokocho, Ameyoko Street, is about 400 meter long. There are over 400 stores and restaurants in this street. You can find food, clothes, electric appliances, jewelry, and many other stuffs. It's really popular to visit this place for New Year's shopping for local Japanese. 
So why this place is called Ameya Yokocho? Originally in this street, there were over 300 candy stores, which called Ameya in Japanese. But around 1950s, they started to sell American stuff from U.S. Army, and they started to call this place Ameyoko as a short form of American stuff street. And now it's mixed, so that's the reason why even there are really few candy stores now. Still, they call this place Ameyokocho, Ameyoko Street. Next to Ameyoko Street, there is Uechung Street. It's the short form of Ue no Nakamise Shoten Gai. Compared to Ameyoko Street, not so many restaurants and food stores, but there are more clothes, shoes, and sports shops. Compared to Ameyoko Street, less people here, but it's just next to Ameyoko Street, so you should visit this place too. Under the train line, there is Ameyoko Welcome Shopping Mall. There are many fashion stores here, but compared to other places, There are many unique stuffs and cheap stuffs. I feel like those are really local stores. So if you like fashion, maybe you can explore here. You can find something interesting. All right, now let's walk to Ueno Station. Oh my goodness, it starts raining. Actually, this season always happens like this. Rainy season in Japan. It will continue until mid of July. Oh, hold on, one second. <laughs> Let's go there. Let me try that. Last time I could get it, so maybe this time I'm lucky too. Let's do it. I like to play claw machines, even though most of the time I cannot get it. It's like fortune cookie for me. If I get it, it's a lucky day. If not, I'm not the lucky. But still, it's a good day because I can play it for fun. So how about today? Let's see. Oops. Seems like today is not the day yet. <laughs> Well, it's okay. Never mind. Let's keep walking. Oh, nice. They have happy hour. 300 Japanese yen. Beer. Sounds good. At the end of the street, it's Ueno Station. If you turn left at the corner, you will find Ueno Park, where you can meet Panda at Ueno Zoo. It's raining a little bit now, so today I don't stop by there though. Let me show around Ueno Station, except Ameyoko Street. Look at that frying chopsticks and noodle there. It's Tsuruya, soba and udon restaurant. I haven't tried this restaurant yet, so maybe I will try this place next time. There is gachapon spot in front of Ueno Station. There are many gachapon in Akihabara Station, but you can enjoy gachapon in Ueno Station too. Also, this place they sell plastic model. By the way, plastic model in Japanese is pura model. Pura model. Ameyoko Street and Ueno Park is a popular spot, but not so many videos introduce east side of Ueno Station. So let me introduce the back street too. So in front of you, it's Ueno Park, and that's the street where I was walking. In east side of Ueno Station, there are many office buildings and stores. Compared to west part and the south part, not so many fancy restaurants. So this is the back street of Ueno Station. Seems like there are many izakaya and hostess bar. Maybe the salary men who work around Ueno drink around here. Oh, there is Matsuya, which is really popular beef bowl restaurant in Japan, and also Wendy's too. Let me see what they have. Nice. Seems like they have a Hong Kong style melon pan now. Looks good. Should I get one? But there are many restaurants in Ueno Atre Restaurant Street. So let's explore the Ueno Atre Restaurant Street first. This is how inside the Ueno Station looks like. On your left, it's Andersen, which is popular bakery in Japan. First, let's check from Atre East. Next to Hard Rock Cafe. There is an escalator, and you can go straight. From here, you can look down busy Ueno Station. So if you get tired in the crowd in Ameyoko Street, maybe you can take rest here in next Japan trip. I like to watch crowded street from high place. Hope you enjoyed it too. By the way, this is the east side of Restaurant Street. There is foreign currency exchanged. So if you want to change money, you can change here. Oh, this shaved ice cream looks good. 
And that tonkatsu restaurant looks good too. On the other side, there are birds and cafes. Hmm, still not so many people here. Oh, this Amit's restaurant looks good. But before, let me check outside if the rain has stopped or not. Oh, rain gets heavier. Maybe I can take a rest at that restaurant so that rain might stop. Let's go back to the restaurant. It's called Amitsu, which is really popular Japanese summer sweet. So excited to eat it. Let's eat. So those are menu items. Let me see which one to order. All looks good. I can't decide it. Let me ask the recommendation of waitress. I don't want to bother other people, so I move to the corner. Yes, that's Shiratama Mitsu. Looks so good. So I asked the recommendation, and then she told me this is the most popular one. It's always better to ask the recommendation, I think. So this one is price is 820 Japanese yen. I think it's a bit expensive for ice cream dessert. But uh, looks good, so why not? So there is ice cream. Mm, it's really nice vanilla flavor. So it's mochi. Mm, oishi. Yummy, it's really soft and mechaoshi. And let's do mochi. What is this? Let me see. Mm. Actually, it's called yokam. It's made by sweet rapey paste. Mm, nice. And next to yokam, I guess it's mochi, but I'm not sure. Let me try that. Mm. Yes, it's mochi, but compared to this circle mochi, it's a bit softer and sweeter. And this is not a nata de coco, it's a cherry. Basically, no taste. <laughs> you know, since this is a really sweet dessert, this orange is perfect match. By the way, orange in Japanese is mikan. mikan. Well, the price is double as the takoyaki that I ate, but uh, this is a lot. Well, it feels kind of weird because there are so many older people here. Yes, usually this Amitsu is for older people dessert, but it's good for young people too. めっちゃおいしい. Actually, there are a lot of jerrys. <laughs> well, you have to be careful. If you don't eat quick, it's gonna be like this, like a soup. Ice cream is totally melting. Well, should have eaten faster. Still good though. Uh, it was pretty nice dessert. Alright, it's ready to go, so let's go. Alright, hopefully the rain has stopped though. Anyway, let's go check. Yeah, it's raining and it seems like rain not gonna stop. So I think I have to finish shooting video here. Well, it's rainy season in Japan. Usually rain like this, but two to three more weeks, I think the rainy season will be gone. So there will be more and more videos are coming. Please look forward to it. Speaking of myself, I'm a travel photographer. Please don't forget to check my Instagram account too. And also there are over 300 videos about food and Japan travel. So if you are thinking of traveling to Japan in the future, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification so that you will not miss my new video and a surprise live stream. So this video pretty much that's it. Hope you can virtual travel to Japan and this video can be a help for your future Japan travel. So see you in the next video. Arigato! Bye bye! Well, yeah, that's how the rainy season in Japan works. It's a really hard season for me to shoot the video. But <laughs> still, I really enjoy making videos though. Well, today's raining possibility was 20%, but <laughs> yep, it's rained. Anyway, I have to finish the shooting video here because of the rain. But if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and then please give me a comment. 
it really encouraged me to keep shooting videos. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and this video can be a help for your future Japan travel. So, <laughs> see you in the next video. Arigato! Seno! <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye.